Poker Face Season 1 Episode 5 Irene and Joyce are mothers in a nursing home. They decide to kill Ben in the nursing home. They sell cannabis and they set up for the murder by stealing medication. Joyce wheels Irene to the toilet and Irene slowly climbs up the vines into the window of Ben's place. She steals the vitals band and stabs him with a syringe. Irene makes it back just before Betty barges in and the seniors go to a zoo. They go into a spot without people and Joyce chases Irene. The doctors then rush to the Ben's place and finds him dead. They replace the vital bands and the new guy is wheeled out. Charlie is the new janitor for the nursing home. She talks to Betty about what there is to do in a nursing home. Betty warns Charlie to stay away from Joyce and Irene because they are felons. Charlie talks to Irene and Joyce about what they do and they talk about how they hold the assholes accountable. She finds out that they were in a group with a guy named Gabriel. They say they shared Gabriel back in the day. They were going to do their biggest revolution yet they got raided and Irene couldn't leave Garbiel behind so she got shot and lost the feeling in her legs. Charlie carries Ben's luggage to his apartment. They are at the zoo when Charlie asks Irene and Joyce if they want to go watch the chimpanzee, and they say they have an allergy, but Charlie says bullshit and says they are going to smoke. Charlie found out that Ben died of a heart attack. Charlie goes to Ben's funeral and finds out that Ben was in FBI protection, and Charlie finds out that Ben is Gabriel, and the FBI arrests Joyce and Irene. Agent Luca talks to Charlie and says that Irene and Joyce couldn't have murdered Gabriel because they were at the zoo. Charlie finds out that Irene and Joyce were initially arrested for trying to blow up a model of the UN, meaning that they were trying to blow up children with pressure cookers. Joyce and Irene ask Charlie if she is a rat. Charlie says she didn't know, and Irene says Gabriel knocked on the door the other night and said he betrayed them. Charlie asks them if they were going to blow up the school, and they say the children of fascist leaders. Charlie then says they're the assholes and leaves. Charlie talks to the group that watches movies and finds out chemicals that will trigger a heart attack. Charlie asks the gardener and finds that Joyce bought sodium nitrate from him. She checks Ben's heart rate monitor and finds out that the heartbeats almost switched and Charlie remembered that Josie bullshitted about Irene shitting. Luca tells Charlie she needs more evidence if she wants them to get an arrest warrant. Charlie asks Betty if she saw anything of Betty says she followed Irene and Joyce and saw they were pleasuring themselves with an electric toy. Betty says her pressure cook has something in it. Her apartment then explodes. Charlie explains that they were able to trick the nurses by tossing each other. Charlie says that if Ben was wearing his heart rate band, the defibrillator the doctors used would have shown up, but it showed up on Irene's band. Irene and Joyce try to inject Charlie with the poison, but she tastes herself and shows that she's wearing a band and the police arrest Joyce and Irene. Poker Face Season 1 Episode 6 Kathleen is an actor that meets with her mortal enemy, Mike. She wants a favor to play with Mike, but but Mike declines and Kathleen storms off, and Ava tells Mike to reconsider. Mike signs a contract and is forced to take part in the play. Kathleen forces them to have a trapdoor that is unsafe. Mike falls through the trapdoor and almost breaks his neck. Ava tells Kathleen that Mike working with her would kill off any idea of him having to act because she is horrible. During the play, Mike runs and removes the lock from the trapdoor and places dry ice instead, and Kathleen untightens a light from its stand on the ceiling. The light falls down, hitting Mike, and he falls down. Ava runs up to save him, but the trap door opens and she hits her head and bleeds out. Mike says to Kathleen that they did it. Charlie has just been fired from a waitress job. Charlie is hired at the theater as a waitress for the plays on the night of the rehearsals. She goes and dumps ice into the dispensary and Kathleen gets angry and almost fires her. But Charlie says that all that bullshit she was talking was a lie. And Kathleen says you're lucky and doesn't fire her. Charlie asks Phil how he takes all the acting stuff and he explains that he has a jug of Jack Daniels. Ava asks Charlie to get shit-faced during the show, while Mike and Kathleen set up the trapdoor and light they hurl insults at each other, which are projected through their microphones that aren't turned off. Charlie explains to Phil that Ava's death isn't his fault. Charlie is forced to work another night. She finds a Phil's checklist that he used to check everything was safe, meaning that someone unbolted it for Kathleen. Charlie tells Kathleen that someone was trying to kill her. Charlie talks to Phil and says she is gonna solve it. Charlie re-watches the video of the play and finds dry ice under the trap door. Charlie burns her hands trying to touch the dry ice. Charlie sneaks on set to tell Kathleen and Mike gives her a smoke and she finds Mike's hands have the same burns as hers. Charlie sneaks up to the lights and find a piece of Kathleen's dress stuck in the railing. Mike and Kathleen say a line about loving each other and Charlie says truth. Charlie then talks to Rebecca and asks why she's lying about seeing Mike and Kathleen backstage together. Charlie finds the note of the script of Mike and Kathleen fighting. She then finds peanut butter treats 
treats which Rebecca is allergic to, and Charlie runs on stage to stop her from eating it. Mike and Kathleen admit to killing Ava and say they are gonna force Rebecca to eat the peanut butter. The police arrive. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing.